Lori Gilbert Kay was a founding member of the Shabbat of Poway. Witnesses say she died trying to shield her rabbi from bullets. CBS News' Leslie Marine is live in Poway where her funeral will begin in a few hours. Good morning, Leslie. Good morning, Suzanne Peter. Yeah, that funeral is set to begin at 2 p.m. for Lori Gilbert K. But I want to show you how big they believe the service is going to be. The synagogue is actually setting up a large TV screen that will be sitting outside. They're expecting an overflow of people to m remember K. But this is the first time they have opened their doors to the public since the shooting on Saturday. Outside the Chabad of Poway, people stop by a growing somber memorial. At the front doors of the synagogue is a sign that reads, please allow us time to grieve and process. But for the first time since the shooting, inside, people prayed, including Stuart Kosh. I came here to pray and I was, I was uh, taken in with, uh, with, an open, with an open heart. And I wasn't searched. There was no question about who I was and where I was from. It was I wanted to do a, a, a mitzvot and and I was able to do that. As the congregation comes together, they are saying goodbye to one of their own, 60-year-old Lori Gilbert Kay, who stepped in front of Rabbi Israel Goldstein to protect him from the shooter. Lori took the bullet for all of us. She died to protect all of us. No, she's a hero, and it's just, uh, just terrible. It's terrible. Rick Schloss, a friend of Kay, says she leaves behind a husband and a daughter. She was known as a faithful Jewish woman who helped start the Chabad. Really outgoing, vivacious personality. As of this morning, investigators have conducted dozens of interviews into the shooter, 19-year-old John Ernest. The former San Marcos nursing student is facing one count of murder and three counts of attempted murder for killing Kay and wounding three others, including 8-year-old Noya Dahan, who despite the horror she was faced with, has this message. Says you're supposed to like live life, not supposed to live hate. Keep moving. Well, back out here live, you can see that growing memorial where people continue to drop off dozens of flowers. We know, again, this funeral will begin at 2 p.m. The Anti-Defamation League of San Diego is teaming up with the local school district. They will be holding a vigil tonight against hate starting at 6 p.m. That's the latest from Poway. Leslie